Active campaign goals. In this video, we're going to cover the portion of goals that begins with and when this goal is. That's one of the one of the two conditions that needs to be met for a goal to be accomplished. And it has to do with where is the contact in the automation? Are they is the goal below the contacts position or is it anywhere in the automation? And we've set up an automation that we're going to use for testing purposes that basically has a, a number of five minute waits and we're going to put a contact in there apply the tag and see what happens and i've got two tags one's a temp a and one's a temp b and then a couple conditionals and i want to show you what happens when people are in automation and you apply a tag that meets the goal but you also have the condition where they are so let's dive right in Inside Active Campaign, I've got this uh, automation. I should probably make it active so it'll work. I'm going to put myself in here. Notice I have no tags right now. I've been through other automations, but that's not the important thing. Is I'm, We're going to use some tags to trigger some goals. So what I've done is someone gets put in here. There's a five-minute wait. Then we have a conditional check. Do they have the tag temp A? Nothing fancy, just looking for a tag. If they do have that tag, we go down this path and we wait for five minutes. And then we also have this goal. And notice, it's do they have this tag? So they're gonna skip over that five minute wait. But notice we have, and when the goal is below the contacts position, and then we wanna continue anyway. So we're focusing on and when the goal is. Now, let me show you what happens if the answer is no. There's a five minute wait. Do they have temp? B tag and if you look at the goal down here and if you look at the goal down here and when this goal is anywhere we're not using the below contacts position we're using anywhere so a little bit different these two goals are set up slightly different and I've named them so it's pretty obvious what they are so first thing we'll do is we'll put the contact in here and I'm just gonna manually step them through and ideally they're gonna end up here right that's what makes sense so let's actually time stamp this so we kind of have an idea what's going on 9 12 okay and let me put me into this automation i think i called it goal and actually it looks like i did this a while ago but it was a different automation so right now I'm sitting at the five minute wait. I have no tags, right? So I should be going down the no path. So I'm gonna just step through right now and skip every step. I'm not gonna wait is what it comes down to. Okay, right, I went over here. I should go down the no path and exit the automation. And the little X indicates that I did not meet this condition. Um, and actually the X here means that I skipped because I manually, so here I am waiting for five minutes, guess what, I'm skipping that too. All right, pretty boring. We, it, it did as expected, we never had this tag, so as a result, um, we, never, we never met any of the goals. So let's do the next case. Now this time I'm gonna make me stop here, I'm gonna apply the temp A tag and see what happens. So I'm gonna go back to here, Let's apply, not that, let's apply the temp tag, temp A, no, 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 sorry, wrong. Don't wanna do that yet. I wanna go back into the automation. There it is right there. So I'm back in the first five minute wait. Let's go take a look. And I am going to view that. And let's look at the time, 9.14, nothing exciting. And let me go back and find me again. Okay, so no tags applied to me right now. I'm sitting here waiting for five minutes. Now I'm gonna apply the temp A tag right now. And it's 9.14, so here we go. So let's add the bang temp A tag. Now, uh, it's coming up on 9.14, 9.15, and 9.15, we're gonna refresh the automation and see what my status is. So around 9.15, I might pause this video and check again at a different time to see when I move, if I move. 
So I'm going to go ahead and refresh that. Oh, look at that. 9, 15, 26 seconds. And I have moved down here. I met this goal into this automation. So this wait, as soon as I met the goal, I get moved. Sure, it was about 30 seconds, but it certainly wasn't the five minute wait. So as soon as I met that goal, I was pulled down here and I'm out of it. So let's go back and I'm gonna go back to this contact. I'm gonna remove the tag because I want to um, start clean. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that. And guess what I'm gonna do? I'm going back into the goal automation. So here we go. And I should be at the top again, right? This is a new pass. Um, I've not, uh, I don't have this tag anymore so I no longer meet the goal. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna skip this so I'm down at this five minute wait. Then I'm going to apply this tag and let's see what happens. So I'm going to skip this step. So right now it is 9.16.30 and you know it, I'm adding the tag, the A tag in this case. Let's just see this and see what happens. So 9, let me wait till 9.17 and then I'm going to refresh the screen uh, for the automation to see if I've moved at all. So let's do a refresh here. And my guess is I'm not going to meet this goal because I'm already down the no leg. So if that's the case, at 922-ish, um, I'm going to move down this path and go down the no. So I'm going to refresh one more time, and then I'm going to pause the video and come back in a few minutes. So I still haven't moved. It's been more than 30 seconds, it's been about a minute, I guess. So I'm gonna pause and come back at 9.21ish or two. Okay, uh, it's 9.21. Let's hit refresh on this to see if there's been any movement. So no. So I think we can safely conclude that um, we've gone past the leg that we could go to meet this goal. So we're not able to backtrack here with these conditions. And in when the five minutes is up shortly, I should move through here and I will go down the no path because I don't meet the conditions for this, which is having the B tag. Uh, I have the A tag, if you remember right. There it is right there. And hopefully <clears throat> I move quickly. Six minutes ago, so hopefully this will be soon. Okay, let's see if we hit 925 and move along here. All right, so it looks like it's actually on the five minute mark. So five minutes really isn't five minutes. Okay, so yeah, I didn't have the B tag, I'm here, and we know that all I'm gonna do is go here, so I'm going to skip this action. And that happened at 925. All right, so let's go back to this guy remove the BA tag, and this time we're gonna test the B tag. So I'm gonna go back into the goal automation. And let's go take a look at it. Here we are at the five minute wait. I'm gonna apply the B tag, and you know what's gonna happen is I'm gonna go directly down here and I'm gonna finish. So I'm gonna do that right now. Let's add B. And it's 9.26.04. Still waiting. Okay, let's double check. I'm just gonna hit refresh on this, make sure I do have that temp B tag. <clears throat> okay, 929, let's hit refresh. Okay, a little concerning because I've already met the goal, but I'm still here in this five minute wait, which I was added three minutes ago. So let's hit refresh on this. It's 
So there we go. So it took me four minutes, uh, which is less than the five minute wait time, but I did meet the goal and I'm out of the automation. So <clears throat> in both cases so far, the wait did not be from hitting the goals. Yes, the second one took, I don't know, it looks like four minutes. The other one took less than a minute or about a minute. So now let's go back in and make some changes again. So I'm gonna go ahead and of course, remove the temp B tag. So I don't wanna hit the goal right off the bat. <clears throat> And that's right. So I'm going to put myself back into the goal automation. So I'm going to skip this step, which will put me down here, put me into this, this side right here. And I'm also going to skip this step. So I'm down here at this wait step. Then I'm going to apply the uh, temp B tag and see what happens. So let's go ahead and move me along. So I'm waiting for five minutes. It is 9.31, 9.31.30ish. I'm gonna go ahead and apply the tag now, the temp B tag, and let's see what happens. So 9.31.44, and I've, I've applied the temp B. So let's see what happens within the next five minutes. All right, we're at 9.33 right now, and I'm going to refresh this. So nothing's happened so far. I've been here, it looks like it says a minute, which we know is a little bit more than that. All right, it's 9.34. Let's see what happens now if we moved at all. So it says we've been here for two minutes now. Okay, it's 9.35. Let's check to see if anything's happened. Okay, 9.35.31 seconds. We were there for four minutes, but we definitely jumped over to this goal. So in other words, we backtracked. And that's what happens when you have the anywhere condition. So that's active campaign goals. We learned that the, the time limit really doesn't have an impact. In other words, they don't wait for the time to pass before they meet the goal. As soon as they meet the goal, they get pulled through. But we also noted that they don't move through instantly. Within five minutes, they will move to the goal. So that's active campaign goals.